Today we are making a video on 4M Linux 42.0. Here is the boot menu of 4M Linux. As you can see there are three options. 4M Linux 42.0 with a default display and with VESA frame buffer and legacy installer for old PCs. So let's quickly boot it in a live mode by going 4M Linux 42.0 with a default display. So it's going to take a maximum of one minute. Uh, to load up the desktop layout or minimum of uh, 30 to 40 seconds uh, which is common in every Linux distro and I already made uh, another video of uh, Kanaima Linux uh, 7.1 uh, you can watch that out or check that out uh, because I post two videos daily without missing so go check that out too if you want it's a Spanish language, uh, the English language was not available and I can't change the language. So I maintained like the default uh, language there. If you want you can check that out too. And uh, it's going to take a few seconds I guess. It's almost installing. Any second we should see our mouse pointer and with a black screen in a few seconds I guess it's taking a, almost like a 30 seconds I guess it's still, still going on it's an independent Linux distro it is not based on anything uh, 4M Linux so I think uh, everything is finished I guess Here is our desktop layout, a quick setup which is uh, 4M Linux uses English US by default. Do you wish to kind of change this? I don't want to change the language because I want the United States or the US language. There is no password for root. Do you wish to set up it now? I don't even want the password so let's keep it like that. Do you live in Europe? No I don't live in Europe. Execute TZ select in terminal to change the settings. You can close the windows now. Let's close the window and go to this is the desktop layout of the 4M Linux. Let's quickly change the uh, monitor setting which is, which is under devices and here you can see we have a 1920 into 1080 resolution. My computer is a, a 19 monitor is a 1920 into 10s to 1080. Let's check it's not allowing me to do anything. As usual, 4M Linux always have this issue, but they still didn't fix it. You can't change the display resolution. Let's stick it with it like this only. And let's continue the video. You can't change the display resolution. So let's close or kill this thing. So let's first open the system monitor if it's available. Office, maintenance, monitoring. Let's open first desktop. Uh, the memory is almost 296 and uh, for 4 GB. I'm, I'm running it on a virtual machine which is uh, VMware with a 4 GB of hard disk, uh, 4 GB of RAM, 40 GB of hard disk and uh, two processors. So here is the uh, system info or the CPU running and the processors running and the RAM all these things are already available here. So you don't need to uh, open the apps for this thing but the uh, click option is not properly available whatever you click it's going to take a few seconds or it's going to be uh, not working there RAM usage is almost 2 GB we didn't open anything uh, but uh, it's almost 2 GB I think this is the worst Linux distro in my opinion uh, it's good for others but it's not for me uh, clearly going to say that it's a uh, not a good Linux for me. Here are the keys you need to type in uh, to get the info for C CPU all these things. C uh, let's type in C R like this. You can type it and you will get a info. These are all the apps which comes pre-installed as you can see. 
I'm going to quickly show you all the apps like this monitoring these are the few apps QMO this miscellaneous tools I guess multimedia all the multimedia apps available here as you can see mini server a mystery I think these are all the games there is a lot of games that's good for people who want to game and there are few apps there are important apps they, may, they gave all the apps but they didn't work on the uh, desktop to be honest in my opinion they probably didn't do the work they added a lot of apps but uh, they didn't uh, change the, I can't change the display resolution uh, it's not the first time uh, because I already made a lot of videos on uh, 4M Linux uh, but every time it was also let's try to reload the JWM desktop manager or a desktop environment here is the calendar I guess even doing so that's not going to work let's quickly open the file manager uh, pacman 1.3.2 let me open the internet browser and uh, show you how to download the 4M Linux if you want to try it Mozilla Firefox <coughs> This will download and install. They just gave the shortcut. They didn't give the actual web browser. You need to uh, remember that too. Pale Moon is a default web browser. Let's check the version before uh, running anything. Here is the version of a Pale Moon 32.0.1, which is a 64 bit. Let's close this thing and let's type in 4M Linux. which you take directly to their website let's go to sourceforge because the downloads are available in the sourceforge always let's go to files and the latest version is this 4m linux 42.0 64-bit iso file 1.2 gb of uh, uh, file size let's quickly download this thing It's going to take like a 5 to 6 seconds to complete this thing and uh, the download should be available here as you can see 1.1 GB of download. I don't want to download. Let's close this thing and let quickly open the terminal and type in few commands which are inxi-sv8 if it's available. Not available. So let's type in neofetch. Neofetch is also not available. Let's type in uname-a uname dash r for the kernel the kernel is 6.1.10 let's type in htop if it's available htop we already opened the htop so let's uh, check the version of lx terminal 0.4.0 let's close this thing i think they just gave the shortcuts of the apps and they didn't have apps too i don't know what type of uh, complete linux distro is this in my opinion it's not uh, uh, a best Linux distro or it's not even okay for to use this Linux distro in my opinion uh, it's up to you if you like it you can go with it uh, if you ask me I'm not going to recommend this Linux distro because there are a lot of things uh, uh, is not working properly here the basic things are not even properly working here that's a problem and here is a dock and uh, I think we don't have anything to open here I guess just a uh, normal apps this is the website if you want to install installer I don't think someone will uh, some people will install this Linux distro they're just going to uh, go in live mode this will download and install they just give I already mentioned that they just give a shortcut you need to download they didn't provide anything uh, 
they can't even provide anything because it's a 1 gb of file size you already know the uh, the linux distro file size was a 1.1 gb i don't think uh, they just give uh, shortcuts there these are all the let's see even they gave the torrent client but they didn't give the important apps that's weird and games i don't know if they are working or not you need to go and uh, let's try to open sudoku the games are all installed that's good i don't know every game is installed or not but uh, few games are uh, installed even library office is not installed that's weird man almost every linux distro in the world i made like a 70 to 80 percent of linux distros every linux distros provided the library office and a vlc media player as common but they didn't even give the uh, important apps at least ab word is available uh, let's check the version 3.0.5 on the internet side we have uh, not important apps but is it less spent available our version is uh, 7.2.2 let's close this thing let's try to change the display resolution once again if it's available 1920 into 1080 is my display monitor setting click on apply as you can see i can't uh, Let's about let's wait for a few seconds and you will uh, you will see a, a reset of the display resolution so i'm going to wait if it works that will be great but uh, let's see at first it was not available but it now somehow changed the display resolution let's wait and uh, let me reboot the uh, reload the G JWM so the dock should come here at the bottom and here we have now it looks uh, good and here are the RAM consumption at first it didn't work for me uh, in the display uh, before recording the video I already tried it but it didn't work but now it is working I don't know what happened maybe there should be having a, some bugs like that so if you are thinking of using this video it's always better to use it in a live mode for a few hours and then go to installer or installation process if you want because it uh, uh, it didn't uh, let me to change the display resolution of the recording uh, I even after uh, the starting of the video uh, it didn't uh, let me to do that but now it made me to use the monitor and these are all the apps which I already showed which are pre-installed on the net apps even Thunderbird you should need to you need to download it they just gave a shortcuts which I already mentioned already and these are few apps wine apps are uh, that's a cross-platform apps game pack they give a lot of games system apps media net apps office mystery they gave you emulators to pac-man there is a pac-man game here the mystery emulators they gave pac-man wolf 3d jumpman it's all the good games and on the monitoring, Enome, Cider, Hestop, Netwatch, Wavenom 1. I think that's it for the video. There's nothing uh, uh, more available in the forum Linux. Just a short, they have just added the shortcuts, few shortcuts, and some apps. You already seen that too. So I think that's it for the video. Let me show you my channel. This part is only for the viewers who want to watch my content without subscribing. So in order to watch my content without subscribing, uh, people who already subscribed, no need to worry, you can just skip this part. This part is for uh, uh, 
uh, other guys who didn't subscribe i'm not going to feel bad or you don't need to feel bad it's up clearly up to you if you want to subscribe you can if you don't want it's clearly up to you uh, it's your opinion so i respect that opinion and this is the url you need to uh, type it in in your browsers if you are using a browser in any devices you need to type in this thing if you are using a youtube app in any devices like a tv mobile and a tab you just need to type it in 9to5linux uh, in a youtube app if you use a browser so you need to type it in full like a youtube.com forward slash 9to5linux and click on enter it's going to take directly to my channel i post two videos daily uh, i already made a video uh, other video of uh, uh kanama kanaima uh, linux 7.1 if you want you can check that out too i'm using a vpn so it's going to take a few seconds here is my channel uh if you are here only for the linux uh, content go with the uh, playlist let's quickly pause the video and you can see there is a lag too in the linux system it's taking a lot of time now here is a linux playlist under linux playlist go with the view full playlist and you will be having like a 1548 videos because i covered every linux distro almost like a 70 to 80% of different types and various types of linux distro which are available in this world so i tried everything and it's again taking a lot of time maybe it's a lag so whatever it may be i'm going to post every day uh, so you can check that out uh, by visiting my channel and if you go to uh, youtube.com/95linux and go to about and you will be having a timings uh, you just come to uh, visit that uh, timings the video should be available before the timings because i will put it in a premiere mode or a premiere so you will be having an idea of uh, what the uh, content is available that day and if you go to community you will be seeing uh, all the linux distro latest linux distro info and uh, latest uh, packages there and some important uh, news announcement will be announcements will be in the community so uh, as you can see forum linux got stuck and uh, we are sitting with a lag here so i can't even close the uh, web browser so i think that's the end of the video uh we can't do anything so let's go into let's end this video instead of waiting for hours for the linux distro again better watch out for the linux distro of a forum linux uh, if you are trying to install always try it in a live mode and then go with the installation uh, after working on it like a uh, several hours like 7 to 8 hours at least work that for for that many hours and use that linux distro for uh, like few hours and if you are satisfied go with the installation if they had a bugs then never go with it because uh, it's going to ruin your pc i don't want you to ruin your pc so i think that's the end of the video thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out